let's make a heart box. I have some cardboard here that I have been saving. It's white on one side, and so I'm going to use that to make the box look really nice and clean for painting later. I have my hot glue gun, I've got a sharpie, a letter opener, a measuring tape, and an X-Acto knife handy. And I'm sure I'll get up to grab a couple more things. Cleaning up some edges here, I want to start by making two squares about the same size so that I have a nice clean corner to make a couple of hearts. And that's looking pretty good. So poking some holes to get through both layers because it's difficult to cut through two layers of cardboard at the same time. This way I know I'm aiming for the same basic points and it'll be easier to trim up the excess after the fact. So I've got those started. I'm cutting the curves on the lobes of the hearts and those holes really make it easier to just click into sections and cut out little bits at a time. So much easier to get your scissors around the curves without bending the cardboard. So I traced over the heart from the first time, but I should have flipped it around first because I want the white side showing out, like I mentioned. And this way I had to trim up the excess again because I had them reversed. But not a big deal, just trimming it up and carry on. So it's gonna be a box, about like that. Now we need sides. So I measured up a few strips for the sides and at first I actually made more lines than I needed because I thought I was going to create tabs and decided against it. It's just overkill, extra work. So no tabs, just extra lines. Here are a few strips of cardboard ready to go. And doo -doo 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 -doo. cutting, cutting, cutting. So I line it up and find the natural bends and then I'm reinforcing the curve by really digging in between the corrugations of the cardboard. That way the cardboard wants to stay where you put it more readily and it won't secretly creep away after you've removed your hand if the hot glue hasn't set yet. I forgot to turn my hot glue gun on. So I just flipped it on and I'm using the time to cut a little slot for a mail in one of the hearts. Voila. So glue is hot. Let's get this thing placed. I'm running the glue along the edge of the cardboard so that it seeps into the corrugation there and then place it, hold it, and kind of scooch it around while the glue is still hot enough to let you do that. And once it's set, it's solid, not going anywhere. Did I mention cardboard and hot glue are like best friends? They're so great together. Here's another curve. I am bending that around and dimpling the back side so that it really curves well. Very important. And cutting that to size. There are a couple of connections between pieces here and again you just put the glue right up in those nooks and crannies and hold it together. It doesn't even stand out on the outside of the box honestly. It, it looks pretty smooth. You can tell there's a connection but it doesn't interrupt the shape or the design or anything. Now I'm getting more glue up on that side and this point in the middle at the top turned out to be the trickiest because the glue kept wanting to go everywhere. Uh, pro tip, maybe don't build a box with hot glue right on top of your favorite rug. <laughs> but sometimes the mood just strikes and I can't help myself. Okay, this is the best part. Because it's a mailbox, it needs to have a door, right? So I'm getting that last lobe all set up, got the curve going and everything, and then it has a sort of hinge, and I figured out a way to get it to lock in with basically a Z fold so it kind of overlaps past itself and tucks under the main box right there. Got this last connection going and then get to show you that hinging door. I did use some tape in places to reinforce it. It does help while the glue is still setting and just, I don't know, peace of mind, I guess. And there's that door. So I marked the edge with my Sharpie to make sure I didn't put glue 
anywhere past it. Definitely don't want to glue the door shut. So have that smoothing it out, cooling, checking the door, and there you can see how it's going to flip inside. It just tucks and lays right there and keeps it, and it works so smoothly. I love it. As long as the cardboard is shaped properly, it just wants to rest right there. So I reinforced the inside with some extra hot glue right behind that hinge to make sure that that stress point wouldn't give way any easier than the rest. And time to put the top on. The top is definitely trickier than the first connections with the hot glue because you don't have as much time to get everything perfect before it sets. You gotta get the glue on all the edges here, all the way around, stuck up in those corrugations, and then it does begin to set while our while you're still putting glue on the rest of it. Luckily though, it's already cut to size, it's already lined up, so you just go around the edges, check it, make sure you don't have glue going crazy anywhere, unless you're into that, I don't know, kind of drippy like candles or something, whatever. Filling in gaps, being careful not to glue the door shut still. I can be a little forgetful, I have to pay attention to those things. And cleaning up the edges. Basically, it's a box. It's a hard box. You can put stuff in it. So now I need a pull tab for the door to make sure I can get stuff back out. I went ahead and grabbed some ribbon and make a little tab and I'm gonna tuck the tails of that around the door so that it really grips the whole thing. I put glue between the cardboard and the ribbon and between the ribbon and the ribbon because you know it's doubled up in all that jazz. So there it is, gluing it on and voila. Definitely burned my fingers repeatedly doing this part. Ribbon is just tricky like that. You have to press right down on it. But it works. So worth it. <laughs> there it is. It's a box. And you can put stuff in it. <laughs> it works. I can't believe it works. It's so good. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.